Okay, um, to the inside of the bag. Um, this is my main compartment. Very, very roomy bag, like I said. Um, I, there are bigger bags, but I like this one. You can, it's easily, easily built up and you can build upon it. So, first thing I'm going to pull out is my winter wear. I've got insulated uh, wool socks, balaclavas, face masks, bandanas, um, Under Armour shirts, what have you. Um, cold weather gear. Okay, now I'm going to pull my Nalgene bottle. Has the top, comes off there. Um, this Stanley bottle is relatively cheap. But Stanley makes very, very good um, stuff. So, um, in this, I have a life straw, a lifesaver um, for any survivalist. Um, you can drink straight from the source. Um, if you procure what your water and drink it through this, that's fine. Um, it'll just purify it that much more. But if you have to, you just uh, go down and 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 just dip it in the water source drink straight from it um remove it from the water source blow through it close your close your cap and put it back um nalgene bottle you can hang it um you can get your snare wire and uh fashion it around the top hang it above your fire and uh boil your water and and uh um purify your water that way. Um, there's other ways to purify your water. Um, you can use charcoal, uh, sand, and salt. Um, I don't see anybody going to carry sand with them. Um, you might carry um, charcoal. You're going to have that every time you have a fire, so you, you can get that. You can get sand off the river bank. Um, I could see you carrying a little bit of salt in your Nalgene bottle. You know, a certain amount of salt. You don't want to carry too much because it just adds weight to your pack. You want to kind of minimize your weight to what you are going to be able to carry uh, for long distances. Um, a camp cup, stainless steel. Um, you can boil water with this. Um, cook food, what have you. You know, freeze dried food. It's a good thing to have to make a meal. Part of my mess kit. Um, you notice two parts of my mess kit are in two different parts of my bag. But if I'm going to eat, I'm going to be camp anyway. Um, otherwise, I'm going to get something from here. Um, I have um, protein bars in here, Metrix protein bars, um, Kippert snacks, and um, a summer sausage in here. Um, this is good for a good 20 uh, to 24 days of emergency food. This is all emergency food. Um, in a survival situation, you want to try to catch your food if, if possible. And um, um, that's going to help you a lot. Um, my first aid medical kit. Um, I can do a lot with this. Um, I just can't... You know, I'm not going to be able to um, perform heart surgery or anything with this, but I mean, this will this will definitely get me by. Um, um, nobody's Superman, so I mean, survival is a serious thing. So um, the next thing I have in here is all-purpose nylon um, camouflage rope. You can never have enough cordage. Um, it's good for climbing um, and whatnot. Um, setting up a hammock in trees. I have a camp shovel. Um, you're gonna whenever you start a fire, it's good to dig, um, dig down, and and that way you have a fire pit. That way you're not gonna catch a camp on fire. A lot of people don't tell you that in the other in the other videos on YouTube that you can find, but it's always good to have a camp shovel. Um, 
you can bury your um, fecal matter and whatnot as well. Um, deeper down in here, I have uh, slicker trousers and a slicker jacket. Okay, and then finally, now that we've gotten to everything else, my shelter. This is a, a good tarp, and this is what I put up for shelter. Um, like I said, I do have my flooring inside my um, inside my bedroll. So um, my wife also has flooring in hers. She just doesn't have the tarp. Um, this is a big enough tarp for me and her to both sleep in. So you know we're not really worried about having two tarps um, unless she gets separated from me. Um, I do plan on getting her some sort of tarp uh, and teaching her how to um, make a tent. Um, it's relatively easy to make a tent. You've probably seen my tutorial on uh, how to make a pitch tent. You know, old fashioned, you know, string line and, you know, tarp over it, your liner and then your bedroll. So, you know, um, those are the inner contents of, of my bug out bag. Um, in the next video, I will show you my tactical vest, and that's got all my uh, protection gear on it and. Um, it's going to have some, um, some, uh, what do you call it? Um, it'll have my two-way radio and whatnot on it for our communications. So, um, that's, that's the contents of my bug out bag. There's a lot in there. Um, and, um, just feel free to comment in the comments below. Thank you.